Before I forget and, um, and the afternoon grows longer, I just wanted to uh, show you this wonderful steel engraving of Andrew Jennings. It's from this book, Our, Con Our County and Its People. This is Bristol County, and the published date on this is 1890. Andrew Jennings is one of my favorite people in the Borden saga. And um, he was there on the day of the murders doing experiments, <clears throat> seeing if someone could hide in the closet at the base of the front steps. And quite often you get a fourth or fifth generation copy of this picture. I like his eyes. He has very sincere looking, penetrating, focused expression. Of course, facial hair was a big deal. He has on a, looks like a, a wool twill sack suit with a cravat and starched collar. Little pearl cravat pin. Um, the steel engravings are really, really crystal clear. I understand he was not a tall man. He was only 11 years older than Lizzie, being born in um, 1849. We'll put a little piece of tissue over the portraits. And then they give you a little write-up about Andrew Jennings. And... Um, I guess he attended public school and the high schools of the city and then went up to Providence for classical school and uh, entered Brown University. Very prestigious. Let me give you a, a lot more information about him and his family. He is buried with his mom and dad. Um, in Oak Grove, but I was interested to see a reference to Lizzie. Mr. Jennings has been for several years a trustee of Brown University and a clerk, clerk of the Second Baptist Society of Fall River. He has conducted a number of important cases Um, he was counsel for the defendant in the Lizzie A. Borden trial for homicide in 1893 from the outset. And he sure was there from the outset. Um, so once again, we'll be looking at Knowlton and Pillsbury, Melvin Adams, Mr. Moody, another favorite of mine, and uh, maybe a little bit more about Andrew Jennings, but... He was very, very important to Lizzie's defense team. And it was he who called um, former Governor Robinson to take on Lizzie's head defense position. Uh, he's a man I really would have loved to have met. Lots of questions to ask him. Not too long ago, the Fall River Historical Society uh, did get Jennings journals and they will be published hopefully very soon. So that's a look at Andrew Jennings and we'll be back with more later.